One of Lexington's districts won't be represented at today's council committee meetings. Today, the court upheld a protective order filed against District 4 Council Member Brenda Menares. Another council member requested the temporary interpersonal protective order earlier this month. WKYT's Lucy Bryson was in court. She has our top story at noon. Amendments were made on a protective order filed by one council member to another just ahead of a committee meeting that both were supposed to attend today. Earlier this month, Councilwoman Denise Gray requested a temporary interpersonal protective order against Councilwoman Brenda Menares. Neither came to today's court hearing. Gray's defense represented her over the phone. Because of the nature of the complaint, we're not reporting specific details, only that Gray claims an interaction with Menares left her feeling afraid and vulnerable. She's very adamant about not being the presence of the respondent. She has indicated to me that uh, she there are other individuals that have had similar issues and she's very afraid um, that the behavior will continue. The order originally filed between the two was amended. Menares now can't come within 500 feet of Gray or her home. It also changes the way Menares will work for the foreseeable future. The respondent is going to work from home, so basically not go to the office. She must now also attend meetings on a remote platform instead of in person. Her defense believes this is good for Menares. She's actually uh, perhaps preferable to us because uh, that way there's no ability to make any false allegations or any further uh, allegations may or may not be true. The next hearing will be October 16th in Lexington. I'm Lucy Bryson, WKYT. A spokesperson for the mayor's office told the Herald leader Menares won't be able to attend today's meeting virtually, telling the paper the city had to give a 24 hour notice about the change due to the state's open meetings laws. She said the council member would be able to attend future committee and council meetings virtually.